Forest Service is up in this area. They're cutting down the trees again. This is uh, Sweetwater Summit, Ball Mountain. We're here, me, myself, Vernon Rogers, Patty Basie, and uh, Verna Conway. This is Ball Mountain here, and we're videotaping this on behalf of the people, the Numa people. They're not supposed to be cutting this area. They said that, they told us before, the Forest Service said they was going to chip up what they already cut as of November 1st, and they weren't going to do any more cutting until that was all done, but they're in here cutting again. And uh, this is something that uh, we are against. We have a tribal resolution written up, and we have different um, tribal entities helping us with with this uh, cause, this devastation to our land, and we don't approve of it, and we would like to have it stopped for the future generations of our children. Um, we've been told different things over the past couple of years, and none of them have been true. Um, the Forest Service has told us that they were going to do this after the fact, that they were already cutting, and we told them why we didn't, we had numerous meetings with them, told them why we didn't agree with what they were doing. Um, the land is sacred to us. Um, the pine trees are a part of our food source, and it's a, a future uh, teaching and our cultural values that we have for our future generations. And they, it doesn't even phase them to um, devastate the trees like this, the land. Um, these these trees are sacred to us. The tiva, the pinets, are sacred to us because it feeds us and helps us, and we pray to them. So when they go ahead and do these things against our will, against our integrity, against everything that we believe in, um, it's wrong. And I think it should be addressed immediately, um, stopped, and these things... Um, should be taken into deep consideration by our um, political leaders that are um, supposedly have the, the power to stop things like this. And we would like to have the tree cutting, the devastation to our land stopped because this isn't right. This isn't the things that we teach our children. We're taught to respect the land. Every time you use anything from land, you always give something first. And this is not the way that we have taught our children to uh, devastate the land. And our future generations are going to suffer for these things that um, the Forest Service is doing at this time. And we would like to have this addressed immediately so that the trees are here for the future generations. Some of these trees are two, three hundred years old. You know, they've been here a lot longer than most people, and they it's been here a lot longer than the Forest Service has, I can assure you that. But they don't see that. They just see it as a uh, monetary gain to employ people, and they don't have any consideration for our tribal rights, our indigenous rights. And it is unbelievable that a human being can treat other human beings this way when they're told not to uh, do these things. So I would like to say that I'm deeply hurt by what they have done and what they are doing at this present time. Um, they came in here and cut a lot of the, the live trees that are really old and it's not right that they uh, treat our land this way. If they're going to call this place their home, then respect the land. Respect what the land has given you. And don't let um, money get in the way of uh, taking care of that part of the, the country, wherever you are. Your land is your water, your air, your, your food source. It's all a part of our natural environment, and we have to respect that. Our people, the Numa, uh, respect that, have a great deal of respect for that. And uh, as should anybody that comes in here and calls us their home, they should be respectful of our ways of life and take care of these things.